everybody, how are you doing? I hope you've all had an absolutely fantastic Christmas and New Year. So let's get to it. The last video I did was an updated houseplant tour and it was received generally very well. And in that video, you may have seen this guy. This guy is my humidifier that I keep running downstairs. And I mentioned in this video that if anybody wanted any more information about the humidifier to let me know in the comments, and I would make a video. So here is said video. So this humidifier right here is called the Levoit LV6000. There are a couple of other models, but this one I went for because of its large capacity tank, which I guess is where we should start. So the capacity on this thing is six liters. That's quite a bit. Um, depending on how humid you want your room for whatever reason, whether it's you, your plants, anything, would obviously depend on how quickly you go through the water in this. Personally, I have this thing on whenever it needs to be on, which I will get to in a moment, which I know you're all curious about. Um, I have this on whenever it needs to be on, and seriously, I might replace the water once every week. Maybe it might be more. Um, at the minute, with my central heating being on, the air is drier in the room, so my humidifier tends to come on a lot more to counteract the dryness of the air. So maybe I would say at the moment I'm replacing the water, maybe a little bit less than each week, given the fact that my heating is on constantly. Personally, I don't want to be filling this thing up all the time. That was the whole idea of me spending a little bit more money on a humidifier was that it kind of did my job for me. And I don't have to worry about the humidity in my room for any of my plants that really need humidity. So the humidifier has a few features. Um, I will quickly run over what's on the face of the humidifier. And then there is also a matching remote. I love a good remote with my humidifiers um, that does more or less the same thing. So we have here the on and off button. Here is the mist level so I can control how much mist the humidifier pumps out at a given time. Then I have the temperature of the mist, which is really good. So this humidifier does warm and cold mist, which is great. I will go into why that's great in a second. It has a humidity level that you can set bespoke to the percentage humidity you'd like in the home. Uh, it has a timer, which honestly I've never used, and I'll get into why I don't need the timer in a moment. And the auto function, which is what allows it to kick on and off using the humidity uh, level that you've set. Um, in addition to that, I don't really use this, I'll be honest, just because I sit next to the humidifier anyway. So I don't really need this remote, but it is handy if you uh, want to use this in a bedroom and you're in bed and you want to turn the humidifier off at night. Um, that's really, really handy. So on the remote, it has the on off button. It has a button here to turn off just the display, which I think is super useful. If you're one of these people that, you know, you want your humidifier on in your room at night, but you can't stand looking at the LED display. Cause I know a lot of people can't sleep if there's like an LED on in the room. So you can knock the display off on that, which is super useful. All the other things that this dial has, this remote has. I will say one thing super, super quickly. If I can't tell what this video looks like so far, but if you see the display flashing on this humidifier, it's not actually flashing. It's the, uh, it's the refresh rate of this screen versus the frame rate that my camera is set at. So if you see anything flashing, I promise you nothing flashes. This is a constant screen. There is no flickering at all. Um, just in case the display on the camera confuses you in any way. Um, it's not actually flashing. This button here controls the mist level, which is basically how strong or fast you want the mist to pump out. So I will try and demonstrate this. I don't know how good this is going to show up on camera, but if I knock auto off, so now it's just going to run. Um, this, you may not be able to see this. If you can't, I really do apologize. Um, this is the lowest level of mist if I want it to go higher. It's shown by a little number one on the screen. If I hit it again, I get level two mist, which is a little bit more. If I hit it again, I get three, which is the most mist the humidifier is capable of kicking out. If I hit it again, it goes back to one. I tend to keep it onto one. I could, I guess, put it onto three and use it that way. I just leave it on one. The next thing that the humidifier has is this button here, which controls how warm the water vapor is that comes out of the nozzle. So at the moment, it's just standard uh, room temperature water that's coming out of the humidifier. Whatever's gone in, that's what's coming out. If I tap it again, you'll see if you can, I'll try and zoom in on this the best I can. Uh, I don't have a cameraman, it's just me. So I can't really zoom in on the fly, but there are two little kind of water vapor sort of lines to indicate that that's not quite cold. It's just sort of warmed up a little bit. If I hit it again, I get three lines to indicate it's even warmer. 
and if I hit it again, I get the two plus the three, which means quite warm. If you, you could keep your hand here forever and it would never burn you, so it's safe for children or anything like that. It does take a little while for the mist to reach uh, the temperature, so I would put it on, then leave it a couple minutes and then come back to it. Like, this is still quite cool for me. It will heat up though. I may as well quickly mention the noise levels on this humidifier. I personally find this humidifier very quiet. You probably won't hear any noise from this uh, anyway. I do find that the warm mist is uh, a little bit noisier than the cold mist. Nothing that would uh, affect anything, to be honest with you, but it is something to bear in mind. If I had to give a percentage increase on how much noisier it was, maybe 30% noisier than having uh, the cold mist on. So it's nothing to really write home about. I mean, unless you're right next to it, but I find this mist setting, you might think, well, who cares if it's hot or cold mist? But I find that Calathea, obviously being in the rainforest, or any tropical plant that requires a lot of humidity, uh, they obviously want warm temperatures. And I find this is actually an extra way to help um, just recreate those levels of both humidity and temperature. I just find that the Calathea really love it when it's kicking out warm mist onto them rather than cold mist, it's just that little bit of extra care. Um, in addition to that, if you're using this for yourself and not just for your plants, if you are kind of unwell and you have a cold or whatever have you, this is really, really good because you get hot mist instead of cold mist and it just helps clear the airways a little bit better. Um, I have actually tested that when I had a cold a little while ago and I did find that it helped. Um, in addition to that, actually, I'll mention this now, you might not be able to see if I point to it here. I think you can. Um, in here, can I pull this out? Yeah, in here you have a little tray and I think in the box it comes with a couple of spare trays here. You can put essential oils on this little tray and use it as an actual aroma diffuser as well, which is super awesome. Um, so you can use that in combination with keeping the room humid. And if you have a cold, it's great to put some eucalyptus drops in here and just sort of sit next to the humidifier and just take it in. Um, I wouldn't say the scent on that is super, super strong, and that's because the capacity of this thing is so huge. If you are wanting some sort of humidifier to use, I guess as more of an aroma diffuser, go with one with a smaller um, tank on it, because the smaller the tank, the stronger the smell that you're gonna get from that. Um, so I guess there's just a pro tip. If you are looking for more of a diffuser type functionality and you think, well, I want a strong scent, don't recommend this for that. There are a million and one diffusers though with uh, small capacity tanks that could do that for you. In fact, it's normally harder to get a larger capacity tank. It does have to be said along the lines of health and everything else. Of course, humidifiers are great for your plants, but they are also very, very great for us. I think I read online that in the winter time when we have our central heating on, our humidity levels can get as low as 10% and that is not good for humans. The ideal level of humidity in a house for human comfort is I think it's between 50 and 55%. So that's what is good for us and our skin and everything else. I don't particularly think we would struggle having any extra humidity. For example, my home is between, usually between 60 and 70% at just all times, um, flat rate, any room, it's at that level. I can't feel moisture in the air or anything like that, but my skin honestly is so much better for having the extra humidity in the air. Wanted to take a moment to mention that it's not just good for our plants, it's also very, very good for us. Seriously, if you're having skin problems, honestly, nothing even to do with plants here, just for a second, if you're having terrible skin problems, if you get a humidifier and just run it and just monitor the humidity in the room, set it at like 60%, you will notice the difference in your skin in a couple of days, and I mean that. You won't have to work as hard to keep your skin hydrated, it will just naturally be more hydrated. You will notice a huge difference. Anyway, back to the function of the humidifier. The number one feature I got this humidifier for is the fact that you can set the humidity level that you would like to have in your room, and the humidifier, if you set it onto auto mode, will just maintain that level of humidity, you will not have to do a thing. What do I mean by that? So I can set this humidifier. I can't remember what the maximum is. Let me find out what the maximum is, two seconds. 80% is the maximum that this humidifier will go to to set humidity for your house. Honestly, I don't think you need any more than 80%. I think that covers probably any plant you could ever have. Like I don't think we need more than that in the home. So how you do that, is as follows. I hit my humidity button and I keep hitting it to the percentage that I would like the humidity to be. So I'm gonna set mine here to be 70. 
it will then flash, I think it's five times, it'll flash at me and I'll just kind of wait it out until it decides it's done. There, it's done. It's saying now I want it to be 70, the actual humidity in the room is 72%. So this humidifier is going to kick in when the humidity level drops 5% below what I set it to. So honestly, if I, I could sit here for an hour, it's probably not gonna drop in here that easily. Um, so it, it won't kick in if I just leave it over the course of this video. Um, it's actually getting more humid right now, probably because I'm talking towards it and I'm breathing on it. Um, so yeah, 5% lower than what you set it at, the humidifier will kick in. I can't remember if it stops on the percentage you set it at or it goes 5% over, I can't really remember. Either way, this is the number one reason why I have this. It's the number one um, selling point that made me wanna buy it. It's fantastic. I cannot live without this. If I just wanna treat my plants one day, I don't have to go around spraying them necessarily. I don't miss them too much anymore. What I just do is just bump this up five, 10% and it's like, there you go. There's your treat for today. There's some extra humidity. And I did nothing. In addition to that, if you're going away for a few days, put this on. If you're concerned, bump the humidity more. If you're leaving the heating off, say in the house, because you're going, I don't know, you're going away for Christmas. Like a lot of us may have just gone away for Christmas. Set it onto warm mist, just that tiny little bit of extra work for something that's, you know, a greater temperature. I don't imagine it would make a ridiculous amount of difference, but at least it's not pumping super cold water out onto a plant that's already sat in a very cool environment. It's just great. I can totally, totally recommend this. It gets better. Just in case you thought it couldn't get any better, it actually gets a lot better because I can't necessarily show you very well on here, but there is a nozzle on the top of here and it's kind of, it's a 360 degree nozzle, okay? It's got two kind of rotating parts to it. Um, there's an outer ring that is a little bit wider than the inner ring. This delivers mist in whatever direction you rotate this to. On top of that, there is an extra rotator on the top that will also deliver mist wherever you send it to. So basically, if I want just the mist pointing in one direction like so, I just turn the nozzle and point it in one direction. But the way it is sat in my living room, if you've seen my house plan to a video, uh, I actually have it in the middle of like two clusters of plants. So I point the larger nozzle to, in that direction where my trio is because it's further away from the humidifier. So I give it extra mist. And then I point the other nozzle in this direction and I give it to the other side of the room. That is absolutely amazing. If I ever wanted it to point it at just me or just anything else, I literally just sweet, like I just swizzle this round. And I just point it wherever I like and just give it double dose of humidity. It is unbelievably good, this humidifier. I think that concludes all the points I would like to mention about the humidifier. I guess the only thing left to tell you about is the price of the humidifier. Now, this humidifier is probably on the expensive end for a humidifier, but in my opinion, it doesn't necessarily break the bank. I purchased this for 79 Great British Pounds, so 80 pounds, I guess, round it up, why not? That's $100 uh, as of checking it, like right now. Um, I realize that is on the pricey end, um, and you don't have to, you know, there's nothing that says you have to go out and spend loads of money on a humidifier like this, but honestly, you get everything you pay for. You get, if you're looking for peace of mind, something you don't have to pay any attention to and your work is just done for you, get this. It's fantastic. I don't know if it comes in any other color. I'm not sure it may come in black. Uh, if this particular model doesn't come in black, there are some similar models by similar companies to be honest, that have a lot of the same features as this. I can't remember the name of the company, but there are some black humidifiers out there and stuff like that if white is not your thing. I guess if you can afford to wait a little bit longer uh, to give your plants or you whatever you want for you know your humidity in your home, if you can afford to wait a little bit longer and chip in you know the extra dollars, the extra pounds, I honestly would because I have not thought about even spraying my plants, worried about whether they're gonna dry up anything like it does not worry me i can put the heating on in my house if i think oh, it's a bit cold i'll put the heating on and this humidifier will just kick in more that's all that's going to happen it's just going to turn on more and maintain the humidity level more yeah the water level will deplete more but that's about it it's not gonna the water level isn't gonna die on you overnight do you know what i mean this you'll know when you're gonna need to replace it you'll have plenty of time i probably haven't mentioned this but replacing the water is really really easy this uh, nozzle on the top comes off can i hit this pull this with my hand this nozzle comes off the top and it has a little carry hole you pull it out at the bottom turn it upside down there's a valve 
twist off the valve, turn it upside down, put it into your sink, put the water in, whatever you're gonna do. Reverse the process when you've got to put it back on, it's fine. Um, you can clean it as well, you can just kind of wipe it down with a damp cloth or whatever. The instruction manuals tell you how to clean it, so it's absolutely fine. But yes, that is the Levoit LV6000. They do do a 5,500, which I literally, it's a 5.5 litre tank instead of a 6 litre tank. I think that's why they call it, you know, what they call it. Um, but I absolutely recommend, I seriously think for these reasons, it is the best humidifier you can get for your plants for the reasons I've mentioned, which are you can set the humidity level to whatever you desire. It'll go as high as 80%, so you need not worry at all. It has a huge capacity to fill either a small room that you need really, really humid or a large room that you also need really, really humid. Uh, hot and cold mist, that's good for both us and our plants if we're unwell or if we just have plants that would just prefer that, you know, extra warmth, that's great. The timer, I honestly, I've never used the timer on this, which I should have mentioned before, just because I use the humidity setting, I don't find that I need to set time where it goes on and then off. The humidity setting for me replaces the need for the timer, but if you ever need a timer, you know, it's there, it's fine. If you can't spend the money on one of these, you could either wait to spend money on one of these or Amazon has a lot of great alternatives that still have quite a large capacity tank um, you will get a lot of bang for your buck. The only thing that I think these humidifiers have that the cheaper ones don't is things like hot and cold mist, setting the humidity, things like that. I think that's where your money is going when you pay for these. So thank you very, very much for watching. And again, I hope you've had a great Christmas and New Year. Sorry if this was a little bit of a drier video, but that's kind of ironic. I'm talking about humidifier. I'm talking about dry content. Yeah, please let me know if there's anything else I can answer for you question-wise. Please let me know if you're thinking about buying it or if you found any other humidifiers or things like that that are maybe good that you want to recommend to either myself or anybody else in the comments. Please do that. Thank you very, very much for watching this video, guys. Please let me know how you get on. Please let me know how your plants are doing because I always love to know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!